2020 elections are underway, and they'll look a lot different in Hawaii due to the shift to a mostly mail-in system. Gina Mangieri has what you need to know for the primary election. Hawaii's more than 700,000 registered voters can vote entirely by mail if they want this year, with a handful of vote in person locations statewide. Today, we got a look at how your votes will get collected and tallied. If you are a registered voter, you should be getting your ballot by mail this week. Many received them last week. What's next? Make your primary choices and mail them back in time for the county clerks to get them by August 8th, the official election day. We pay for return postage, and these other states uh, do not. And so, again, you don't need to a uh, stamp in order to return uh, your uh, ballot. They're advising putting it in the mail by August 3rd. The ballot has to be in hand at the county offices, not just postmarked. We're recommending five days, but if you're going to wait, um, use a place of deposit or drop it off at a voter service center or take it directly to the clerk's office. There are two voter service centers on Oahu, two on the Big Island, and one each on Kauai, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai, where people can vote in person Mondays through Saturdays from July 27th through August 8th. As for the place of deposit, that means these yellow drop boxes stationed at various parks and public facilities. They're supposed to be emptied daily, and they will be manned on election night to close, just like a polling place would have. What's going to happen is at 7 p.m., if there's a line, we will have an election official stand at the back of the line and to not let anybody into that line after 7 p.m. Once everybody ha who was in line prior to 7 p.m. deposited their ballot, um, that ballot box will be locked, the ballots will be collected and transported to the clerk's office for validation. That's where they compare signatures on ballots, as they have been doing with thousands of votes sent back already. As for concerns about a signature being visible on the envelope... You're welcome to use your own envelope and and place your, your ballot return envelope in that and return it to us. Or again, that's why we have some of these places of deposit and these boxes so you can drop it off directly. There are security measures to protect what's inside until it's time to count, such as here at the convention center, which will serve as Oahu's counting center. The first time in decades it has not been at the state capitol. All ballots are opened up after they've been validated in the presence of official observers. So it's not like it's done in a back room. It's done all in the open. For the ballot drop-off locations, voter service centers, or information on what to do if you haven't gotten a ballot yet, visit KHON2.com and stay with KHON2 on primary election night, August 8th, for the results. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.